Good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, the skies are cloudy, but the birds are singing. I uh, just checked out my sprinkler system and everything, and everything worked. I guess I blew that out right, but everything's hooked up. Remember, I told you I was going to hook this up. I'm going to show you a little of this and a little of that today. This is all hooked up now. It's on a timer. Uh, so it's that is hooked up to this right there so that'll come on and water all those rose, roses and raspberry and blair, blueberries and everything over there and uh, we also put a new post up boy that looks crooked and I put it up with a level <laughs> I'm gonna go kick it in the butt we got that done uh, the water system worked so I'm gonna leave the water uh, water system on so I can water the new grass I'm happy about that, no problems. Happy that that's working, no problems. But what I've been working on just now, just got this part done, is uh, the electrical. She's done. Here's how it works. We got this little trickle charger. That it still works. I've had it for a long time, but it's still putting out a little amperage. So it's going to go through this hole, go down here, and hook onto the battery. So I'll just pull it out of the box, it'll be in here, pull it out, set it out whenever we get somewhere and it'll be charging. Now if I pull in somewhere where we got uh, electricity, this little charger here will charge up the battery also. Now if we are, we're off grid and we need some 110, we got this little outfit right here that I can turn on, like so, and it will feed the uh, inside of the uh, electrical inside the trailer camper it'll also uh, you know you got another plug-in out here if you need to charge up some batteries for your tools or whatever now this thing here is just going to go down on and hide all this it's all hooked up we got uh, this is all your positive side that's your negative side over there it's going good uh, then all we got to do is if we want juice in the house is unplug that one and plug it into there and then we can get 110 in there not going to have a lot because it's only one battery but it might be enough to do something minor uh so this is good we're going to button all that up but uh so it's done finally this part now let me show you how the lights are working in here you've seen the other the samples but this is it for sure and i got new curtains what do you think of my curtains yeah <laughs> anyway okay so you've seen all this you've seen the cabinet uh, we built all this uh, we've even got a coffee pot put in here already Woo, we're ready okay so let's check out the light system now there's your lights your little light right there for just lighting this up and uh, it's got the light back there that turns that off and on all right and then we turn that off then we can turn these on these are what i like i think them come out really well nice light uh they're led naturally you can tell that so it won't take a lot of juice but that's that and then we got right here we got the pump it ain't hooked up to nothing so i ain't gonna uh run it i don't have nothing hooked up to here yet because that will be oh do you notice i put them little things in there yeah see lights up uh that will also run the fan if we put one up here. The wires are already up there. So we're done with this. Still a mess. Uh, gas tank, I ran out of gas and the lawnmower had to take it out. Uh, we got the steps done. We'll clean it all out. And uh, we were going to put a bed in here and just carry a bed mattress. And then we, that just take too much room, too much, too heavy. So we're just going to get one of our uh, blow up Coleman's, throw it in here, and we'll call that good. So. We're done with this. We got the heater there. We got, oh, we got a stove. Did I show you the stove? We got a little stove for in here. There's a little Coleman. Ordered the parts. And there's an extra water pump if we needed to pump water out of a jug or anything. Uh, but that Coleman will sit up here once you're parked. And it'll plug into the same gas as the, the heater will. The gas line will come up through here. Or it'll come through here wherever you need the gas, it'll come through. 
there's your little 110. Uh, so that's good to go. We're going to get a, just a little uh, plastic uh, tub. It'll go here once we get water in it. You've seen the knife holder, but this is done, finally, uh, except for the outside. What I'm thinking about doing is uh, maybe putting some of that stuff on it. So, uh, who knows? Anyway, we got another project I'm going to start right now. That's it, right there. All right, project number two. Uh, this came with one battery, which I took that battery and put it over there. Because I had these two matching batteries that I'm going to stick in here. So I extended this. That's how big it was right to here. I extended it with another plate and everything. So another battery can sit in here. So we're going to have two in here. Now, okay guys, I want you to tell me what you think about this. I go to the battery store to get my cables and stuff. Not the battery store, the car store. Won't name them because you'll see why. They, I said, yeah, I need some cables. I want to hook, hook up my batteries in there. He goes, oh, let me show you how to hook it up. I went, okay. So he says, yeah, you want to put your positive on one side. Then you run that one to the positive on the other side. And then you run the negative to ground. Okay, you all with me? I said, uh, well, won't that give me 24 volt, volts? Well, yeah, but it, it probably won't cause any problems. I said, probably? I said, that's a key word right there, isn't it? Why would I want to run 24 volts into a 12 volt system? He said, well, you stand a chance of blowing the batteries up the other way. And in my other RV, we ran it like I'm going to run it here. I didn't run it 24 volts. I run 12, which is my light bulbs and everything else in here. So uh, I said, probably, I don't think probably is going to get it. Let's just do it the way I've been doing it for years for 12 volt. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to stick these in here and run them negative to negative, positive to positive, and hook them up the same way. So, that's what we're going to do now, and I'll show you how it's all done when it's done. Well, tools are all put up. Except for those. <laughs> it's all done. There we go. We got negative to negative. These are negative. That's the negative post. All good. That's positive, and it runs over to the positive post in there. This is the negative. So we're all negative to negative, positive to positive. That's 12 volts. It works great inside. Uh, I did, didn't have a strap to hold the battery down in the back, so I made a little block. So that'll hold her in there, and uh, I think that's going to be great. Uh, it should just give me a little more 12 volt uh, juice. Last just a little bit longer. Well, I don't know if we're going to put solar on it or not because we're not living in it. We're only going to be out overnight, maybe a month at a time at the most. And if that's true, we'll probably be plugged in somewhere and that'll charge the battery up. So I put the, the electro diazo greasy stuff on it, on all of them. I did that one and I did this one. All the connections got greased on them, on them so they shouldn't, should not corrode now we got some other things coming uh for the rv we're all we got everything ordered on for the rv we want at this point uh we uh are not going to put solar on like i said right away we're going to check it out we got 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 some things to put in here and we'll be ready to we're ready to rock on it as soon as we can because I'm, I'm bored of sitting around here. And you're bored of watching my videos from around here. But that's done. That's going to be done. All the parts are ordered. It won't take long to finish it off. I'm ready to rock and roll. My yard is uh, going to be uh, sprinkled automatically. Don't have to worry about that. Everything's going good. Sprinkler system's working good on that. <laughs> I'm feeling good about myself right now. Oh, boy. And it's only 1 o'clock. Oh, half a day work. 
All right. You see all the things to do. Check out the last video. Check out everything. And subscribe if you want, because we're going to do some tripping real soon. i got to fix that.